welcome back to the Sundance Vlog. We're here in the Noisburg Cemetery outside of Yuba City, California. More accurately, outside of Sutter, California. Look at this. And it's pretty creepy here. Here's father and mother. And this. John W. Silly. Hey, his name is Silly. C-I-L-L-E-Y. -L Silly. I've never actually heard of that last name before. It's the Sometimes Vlog. It's a vlog that happens sometimes. We're here in a very creepy old cemetery called the Noisburg Cemetery, like I was saying. And this, among many cemeteries out here around the buttes, which you can't see, they're blocked by trees, in the Yuba City, Marysville area, in Northern California. This is one of many cemeteries, to disregard this background sound, reputed to be the witch's graveyard. The legend is that a witch, well, a lady, was practicing witchcraft and was hung from a tree in one of these cemeteries. And her daughter was hung as well for also practicing witchcraft. Now, the whole hanging or burning or stoning or killing of witches thing did happen a little on the east coast of the United States. It did happen in Europe. I'm not sure it ever happened in the west coast, especially not in the 1840s. But every small town or series of small towns has their urban legends, has their place where teenagers like to come out and drink and carouse and make out with each other and do crazy stuff. And this is one of those places, the Noisburg Cemetery, although it's pretty well fortified with barbed wire and chain link fence. How am I doing? Today I'm a little sad actually. I've been hanging out with my friends up here all weekend and tomorrow I'm going to San Francisco to hang out with a couple of other friends and then heading back home to my home to vlog well, create some more random lands and do some more wonderful things. But I've been taking kind of a vacation, kind of an accidental vacation. The ticket led into somewhat accidental vacation time where I've been sort of down doing nothing. So I'm in this beautiful graveyard with my friend Allie, who is wearing a tent in the form of a giant sweater that's too big for her. Ryan. Standing by this grave. And Allie's sister, Amanda, who is right there hiding behind the grave. Kinda like a ghost. Have you guys seen any witches so far? Just her. Just the only witch here. I'm just kidding. The cemetery is reputed to be haunted by the spirit of the witch and of her small also witch daughter? What do you call a young witch? Like a witch's apprentice? A mini witch? A Mitch? A Mitch. Definitely nailed it. Mitch. So Mitch and the witch are out here. Allie's looking. What does that one say? Witch? No. Okay, well we can't. That's not it. So it's getting dark. It's super illegal according to all the signs on all these cemeteries to be out here after sunset. I'm pretty sure we're already breaking the rules, but we're going to go ahead and say it's 50-50. It's, it's, it's it's right on the line. We're okay. Look at a picture just happened. So we're trying to be respectful because there are dead humans here. But of course, it's a sometimes long. As soon as the camera gets on, I get really excited because I'm seeing all of you again, my favorite wonderful people. So this one will probably be brief too because I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. It's getting a little bit dark. I don't want to be loud and festive and boisterous inside the cemetery. You know, Tyler Evans, rock journalist, he's been a little sickly. He's been under the weather while I've been gone, but Tyler lives in this town in Georgia, a small town called Dalton, Georgia, and down south of Dalton is an even smaller town no one's ever heard of called Resaca, and then off to the side of Resaca is this ridge, or is this road called Bracket Ridges Road, and that's one of those roads where they say, the KKK had a church there, or there's satanic rituals, or every small town has some sort of urban legend spots. Actually, in Orange County where I live, which is definitely not a small town type area, very crowded, lots of people, Suburbs becoming urban, you know, all that kind of stuff. We have our own urban legends. Things like Black Star Canyon. We've been there before. Just crazy stuff like that. This happens to be the one for this area. The Witch's Graveyard. There's actually a whole blog. Anywhere you travel, even this, the most random seeming places. If you look online long enough, I actually did find a blog. about Yuba Sutter hauntings. And there are all kinds of supposed hauntings out here in this area. I'm not a huge paranormal person. I mean, I watched Ghost Hunters and stuff like that when it comes on TV like everyone else, and I enjoy a good scary movie. I told you the ghost story at the Queen Mary a few days ago. I'm uh, somewhat quasi-skeptical about 
what exactly a ghost is, I'm sure. I've seen unusual things that don't make sense, so I buy that there are phenomena. I just don't know what they are. And I am not seeing any ghosts out here in this cemetery. They also say there's evil spirits and demons that were summoned by the witch. Although I could not find any historical evidence for the story of the witch, it's still interesting and kind of spooky to come out and think, which grave was the witch? Which grave do you think was the witch's, guys? Which grave was the witch's? First of all, we need one that has no name on it because we don't know the name of the witch. I think that's it. That's it right there. Allie, didn't you say that people say she was buried on uneven ground? Yep. Uneven ground? Unholy ground? She can't be buried in even ground. That would just be rude. You can't bury her like the rest of the nice people. You have to bury her like the witch that she is. Wait. What if there were more than one witches? Which witch was the witch that got burned? Which witch is which? Did she even get burned? She got hung. Yeah. Hung from a tree. Which tree? See, the other one, we were at another one, the North Butte Cemetery earlier, and there's this huge tree in the middle with broken branches. That was more convincing for the legend of hanging the witch in the tree. This seems more like a graveyard where they bury a witch who was burned. <laughs> but not burned all the way, not cremated, but just burned up. There's a lot of little circles, like oh. rocks. That's true. Creepy rock circles Maybe where you would one. do spells. That's what I'm thinking is, look at this one. There's no marker on it, and it looks like they've added extra protection. It's probably a well, but we won't tell anyone. Let's just, we're gonna <laughs> pretend that I never said that. Look it, there's all this protection to stop us from getting in there because the secret of the witch is that she's not dead. She's not dead. Wait, did you hear that? No, I'm kidding. It's going to turn into the Blair Witch Project so quickly. The Sutter Witch Project. <laughs> Allie, are you so scared? I'm, I'm so sorry. scared. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, so this is my last night in this area. Look at this beautiful sunset. Are you seeing the sunset, Manda? Mm -hmm. She's totally not seeing the sunset. She's 17. That's how 17-year-olds act. I see the sunset, okay? Don't tell me to look at the sunset. What? What are we looking at? Oh, what is this? It does look like a seat. Shine your light on that. This looks like a seat. I don't know if it's to rest and contemplate the grave or the seat to conduct evil witchcraft from. Okay, look at this. Here's a in memory of Roger C. Wilbur, cherished husband, father and friend, native California son. I don't know who that is or if that's a famous or important person, but now we can look it up later together and find out if this was a really famous person. He does have a huge plot here, but I don't think, according to the sign, which is pretty detailed, he was a witch. What's a male witch called, Ryan? A warlock? A watch. I'm pretty sure it's a warlock. So what's the difference between a warlock and a wizard? Uh, I keep asking people this and no one knows. One knows magic. I'm sure <laughs> that's true. But what about the other one? He probably knows magic too. Do you know any of the difference between wizards and warlocks? I know nothing. I know nothing either. Look at this. Where the most go in there for 10 seconds? The most haunt. Dare me to go in the porta potty? We're gonna go in the porta potty for 10 seconds because Allie dared you. She didn't even dare me. Oh no. You know why? Because I see the spiders in there. And once you see the spiders, it's the spider's toilet now. Nothing can be done. Burn it down. Okay, anyway, here we are. It's too dark to continue filming much longer, but look at that. Wait, be really, really quiet. Listen to this. That's Ryan walking. It's a little bit creepy out here. If I came out, so people come out here in the middle of the night is what they do. Yeah. And then do you have to say anything to the witch? This is your first time out here, huh? But this is your hometown legend. Yep. You never experienced the witchcraft I've firsthand? I've never been here. Why? You never wanted to make out with anyone or something? I don't know. What do people do? They come out here and they get crazy. I've never understood that whole thing. Like, let's go to a cemetery and get crazy. It makes no sense. But you know how a lot of stores go out of business? Like, they don't have the date on it yet because it hasn't happened. But when Sears goes out of business, it's going to be buried right here. When Walmart finally kills off its competitor, that's where it's going to end up. Okay. It's time to leave because it is sundown and we don't want to pay a thousand dollar trespassing fine. So subscribe for some more sometimes vlogs. Tomorrow I'll be in San Francisco. 
check out our website, the best I for our car. She's so crass to say that in a cemetery. I need to get past the graves. <laughs> okay. T-shirts at livefastdiepoor.spreadshirt.com. Instagram, at livefastdiepoor, at Justin Scar. And you can talk to me on Twitter, at Justin Scar. Those are all the things I'm supposed to remind myself and other people. This is my last day hanging out with my friend Allie. Goodbye, Allie. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, witches.